just go over a little bit of the mechanics of where we've got to today with the with an auction campaign. Then we'll have a quick coffee break and then we'll actually do role play. But I just want to pick up on a couple of things Rob said. The auction, your campaign's just started now, haven't it, for this yeah, auction? This is the second week we're in. Second week, okay, we're halfway through it. This is your real opportunity to dominate this market, I'll tell you. Um, but the thing you've got to get in your head is that this is about show business. Because unless all the work's done by the time you get here, it's not going to happen on the night. Right? And it is about show business. It's about Rob was dead right. The auctioneer's role, and that's why Rob does my auctions. Because you can't be auctioneer and listing agent. Because they are two totally separate roles. And you know, someone asked me when I pulled out of Ray White in 2005, what were my best memories of what auction came to mind? It wasn't actually an auction, it was people that came to mind. Because I've seen people literally grow because of auction process in an auction room. Because there's nowhere to hide. <laughs> you, can't, you can't dodge it. If you freeze, everyone sees that you freeze. Now, the thing with that is, when you're doing your first auction, you will probably freeze and you'll go. But as you progress, and if you've got the right attitude towards it, you, you progress, you become a showman or a showwoman at, at the end of it. And that's what it's really about, is putting on the show. Because if, if you can do your homework right, have people in the rooms, you're not going to get a big clearance percentage such as you get in Sydney, I'll tell you right now, because we're a provincial centre. But if you can get to within a whisker of where you want to be, and using the vendor bid properly, which we'll talk about again in a, in a moment, and you get the theatrics right, then it becomes a very, very powerful presentation.